Hello, I'm Ruba, a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how users who get the error, you must be logged in to the server unauthorized when connecting to an Amazon Elastic Kubernetes service. ABI server can solve this error. Let's get started. I have here an Amazon EKS cluster that was created by user Ruba. Initially, only the creator of the Amazon EKS cluster has System Master's permission to access and communicate with the cluster through kubectl command line. Let me first verify my AWS identity and access management user. I can configure this in my terminal. In the AWS command line interface, I will run STS get caller identity to show the current user that I configured in my local machine to use. As this user is the same cluster creator, I'll update the kube config file by this command. The resulting configuration file is created at the default kubeconfigbath.cube/config in your home directory. The kube config file is a way to organize information about clusters, users, namespaces, and authentication mechanism. So, the kubectl command line tool uses kube config files to find the information it needs about the cluster and to understand how to communicate with the ABI server of that cluster. Now, I have the kube config updated and I'm the cluster creator. I'm able to perform kubectl command such as kubectl get service. Let's do that. However, if I switch the user to any other user or assumed any role, then I can't communicate with the cluster using kubectl. Here is where I'm logged into an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance. I'll perform STS get caller identity. This shows the role attached to the instance. I will perform update kube config command as we did before and see if I can communicate with the cluster. Now, I will apply the kubectl command. This command generates an unauthorized error because the IAM role that's attached to the EC2 instance does not have permissions. So, from the cluster creator window, I will add permissions to the IAM role. This enables the EC2 instance to communicate with the cluster using kubectl command. First, I will add the IAM role to the AWS auth config map for the cluster using this command. Under map roles, I will add the role and will give it system master's permission. The system master's group allows super user access to perform any action on any resource. I will save the changes and try again from the EC2 instance. Note that the system master's group allows super user access to perform any action on any resource. If you want to restrict the access for this user, then you need to create a Kubernetes role and role binding for this user that's mapped in RBAC or role-based access control. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.